recently i got a very interesting dm from khalid and he was asking me that what project he should include in his portfolio for getting job and internship and i believe that not only khalid is little confused about this but many of you have the same doubt that what project you should build what are the skills you have to learn if you really want to pursue your career and build your career in web3 space so in this video i'll give you the complete guide that what are the skills you have to learn what are the project you have to build and what are the company you can target for applying for a job and internship so you can see this is the slide which i have prepared for this video and what i did i divided this entire slide in three different sections the first section is for the skill the second section we have for the company and the third section we have for the project so you can see this is the khalid who asked me this question in my dm so you can see the question bro how many projects should i do to get a job or internship and what are they so the entire roadmap which i have built based on the job offers i have got so when i gone through the job offering and i see that these are the technology they want me to have if i really want to work in the company so all the technology which i have mentioned is from my personal experience and from those job offer and if you guys want that to show you that what job offer i have got so do let me know in the comment section so i will show you in the next video okay so let's explore each one of these one by one so the very first one we have is the skill so in this skills i have divided these categories so the very first thing you have to learn is truffle and you know that when you going to work with a smart contract when you going to build a smart contract when you going to test the smart contract when you going to deploy the smart contract you have to know that how truffle environment work how you can use the libraries plugins for writing the smart contract for testing the smart contract because some companies are looking for a truffle developer and some companies are looking for a hardhat but whatever i have found so far hardhat is very popular because it's come with mocha library and chai library which make your entire development very easy so these are the two library is must for the development in the solid smart contract now we have the brownie so it's also the tool which you have to know that how you can utilize it this one is a rational one i have included from my end so you can easily able to utilize it for testing the contract and for doing all of those things tuffle is must hardhat is must brownie is optional now we have this one so as i talked about chai library and mocha library these are the two library is must because when you going to build a contract and when you going to test using the javascript in the hardhat framework on in the truffle framework you going to test the contract on the fork network so i believe that you guys know what is fork network if you don't know i have a video which i will link in the i button or in the description so you can can watch what is fork network and how you can test the contract the actual pricing when you do the transaction on the main net so you can do that with the help of fork network so when you do that testing you can use chai library and mocha library so you have to know that how this mocha library and chai library exactly work now we have analysis tool so this one is more towards the smart contract testing so once you build the smart contract and test the smart contract using those javascript framework chai library mocha library all the manual testing then you move to the actual tool testing because some companies are looking for a developer who can do the auditing of the contract so in the analysis in the tool analysis you will have these things so you have to know how to deal with slutter slutter is a really powerful smart contract testing tools like it will tell you that what is the problem you have it will highlight the reentrancy attack in the contract it will highlight all the contract all the attacks which is possible in the contract based on the previous contract which got manipulated okay so it's a really powerful tool this one is also powerful and you have to know that how you have to use this is securify i have never used this one but in some of the some of the requirement in the job description i found this tool so that's why i've included and you have to know that how you have to use ipfs so if you don't know what is ipfs it's a peer to peer network so you going to deploy all the nfts all the assets to the ipfs network okay so i have already made a project nft marketplace so you can watch that in that we have used ipfs so these are the tool must you have to know how to work on it i'm not telling you to be master in which one of this but you have to know that how you can utilize it and as you start working with the smart contract as you start in the company so you will get master in each all of this tool okay so these are the tools we have now we have the token standard and this one is really very important if you're a smart contract developer if you're a blockchain developer you have to know that how tokenized system exactly work what is erc 20 to work what is er 721 what is er 115 so you have to know the standards you have to know the each of the token functionality that what is the difference between these token what features bring for the users for the creators and when it's come to trading when it's come to the ownership okay so these are the really must you have to know because right now whatever project you will find those projects are going in the field of gaming and in the field of defi section decentralized finance 
and there all the community building all the asset management is happening through tokens okay so you have to know about the standards of tokens so these are the tools which you have to be good in and obviously you have to know how to write the salty smart contract salty programming language because if you don't know that then these are the things not going to help you at all so you have to be good in the salty smart contract how to write salty programming language then you can use this tool so these are the couple of skills you need to have now let's come back to the company okay so if i expand this one you can see that i have highlighted a couple of companies which i have found which work in these areas so they work in the field of blockchain development they work in the field of smart contract auditing they they let me bring it down okay let me so they work in the field of blockchain they work in the field of like building a private blockchain smart contract irc20 token ipfs peer-to-peer -peer network okay so whatever skills you have mentioned here these companies deals in that you can see here i have given a small information that why blockchain is so popular and why this technology is booming here they have made the prediction that by 2026 it's going to hit this 7.4 billion market that's huge and these are the couple of companies named which i have mentioned which deals in this particular technology so if you're going to apply in any one of these company they want you to be good in these technologies so they know they want you to know with the token standard how this tokenized system work and how you can bring extra functionality into each one of the system how you have can use the like smart contract auditing then how to test the smart contract truffle solidity how to create a blockchains how to behave pro protocol so those are the things okay so this is the company from which i got the offer and they want me to have all of these skills they want little more but these are the basic skills they want me to have so these are the company we have they have in crora spring lab Blockify, Circle, MoonPay, Sensei, okay, that's uh, IBM, it's a very popular one. We have this Komini, I hope I'm pronouncing this one, and we have the Coinbase. So these are the couple of company we have. So what I want you guys, I want you to pause the video, take a snapshot of this, and try to do a little bit of research about each one of this company, and try to find out that what tools and technology they want you to master to get an internship. Because all these companies are right now hiding for an internship and a developer. So if you go to the about section, then you will find their hiding list at what position they are looking for and what tools and technology they want from you. Okay, so that's very easy. So first you have to master each one of these skills. Then you have to do a little bit of research about this company. And now let's come back to the project because in the project which I'm going to show you, I have tried to include each one of these technology we have used, we have highlighted here. Okay, so let's come back to the project. So if I expand this project, so here I have highlighted the project which you have to know. So the very first project we have is the NFT marketplace. You will learn about the front end and this modern technology. The second thing you will learn about in this project is the back end, that how you can manage the data for the blockchain data into the decentralized space. So how you can connect the API, make a request, fetch the data, display the data, do the data structure. This is very important. Okay, so you will learn about the back end in this particular project. You will also learn about the blockchain, that how you can make the transaction on the blockchain. What is blockchain? What are the information you will have inside a block? How the hash generations take place? How one block is connected to the another block? So these are the things you will understand in this particular blockchain, this particular <laughs> project. Now you're going to write a smart contract for this entire marketplace. Where you're going to deal with the data, where you're going to design the entire smart contract, where you're going to build the data model where the user can resales and buy NFT, they can list NFT, they can fetch the pricing of the NFT. So tons of things you will find in this project. So we're going to write this smart contract. Obviously, you're going to be good with the uh, Solidity because we're going to write the smart contract. We're going to make the transaction and we're going to use Solidity as a programming language for writing the smart contract. You can go with Rust, but Rust is not that popular. In my experience, whatever project I have found, whatever project I have built, and many people have approached me for building the building the marketplace and the project. They have not asked me for build using the Rust programming language. They all were asking for Solidity. And Hardhat is must because we're going to use Hardhat in this project for testing the contract, deploying the contract, connecting the contract, and make it live on the blockchain, okay? So you're going to learn about the Hardhat, you're going to learn about the IPFS because ultimately, this images, this NFT, we're going to push to peer-to-peer -peer network, which is an IPFS, so you will learn about that. You're going to learn about the ERC20 token because these NFCs are token, how it's work. You will have a lot of functionality into that, a lot of option into that. You will have a method for transfer token. You will have a method of getting price. 
you will have a method of approval so all of these things you will have and that's the EST 20 standards which you will find in this particular project and here we have the data structure so that one is one of the most important things in terms of dev development in terms of application development no matter you are into the web 2 development space or you are in web 3 space data structure is one of the most important thing which you will have okay so if i expand this in the back end part you will learn about these many technologies so you will learn about the node.js you will learn about the mongodb you will learn about the npm packages authentication security data management mongo schema Mongo's data planning so all of this thing you want to learn about the block backend development so many things you will learn so you will have a comprehensive understanding that how backend exactly work and how you're going to connect with the blockchain and store the data okay although in the blockchain space we don't use a uh, backend for storing the data but it's always very important that you have to store it because when you store the data in the backend part and when you try to fetch it and display in the front end in that time it not cost too much okay because all the data is already there you only call those data from the blockchain which is important data the unnecessary data you will save on the centralized blockchain space okay and the back end so these many technologies you will learn if i come back here in the blockchain in the blockchain section you're going to learn about what is blockchain use of blockchains fundamentals of blockchain live blockchain project deployment and development ethereum polygon gorilla and test for set so these are the things you're going to learn in the blockchain section if you come back to the smart contract in the smart contract you're going to write three different smart contract you're going to write the smart contract for nft marketplace which i explained you're going to write the smart contract for nft auction so if anybody want to put their nft for auction and someone else want to buy it so they can do that okay now you will also bring the smart contract for transferring the fund so these are the three smart contract you want to write into this project now let's come here let's come back to the solidity in the solidity you want to learn about what is solidity solidity programming language solidity smart contract security you want to learn about solidity smart contract testing solidity data model solidity pricing optimization solidity modifier solidity function solidity complete course so you will learn everything about the solidity programming language because blockchain we deal with the smart contract and the smart contract you want to build what will what you're going to use solidity programming language for building the smart contract so you will learn everything about the solidity so we are done with the solidity now it comes to the hard hat in hard hat you will learn that what is hard hat what is mocha library what is child library what is development setup account setup like account configuration chain id setup because you can deploy your contract to multiple network and each network each blockchain network has a different chain id so if you go with the ethereum polygon gorilla solana so all of they have different chain id so you can do the setup of that now we have the different blockchain setup that's what i have mentioned different blockchains are there and you can do the configuration for deploy your contract so you will learn about hard hat completely now we have ipfs under the ipfs you will learn about the peer to peer network what is infura what is acmini what is blockchain provider okay under the blockchain provider you will have web3 model etherjs all those library now if we come back to the erc20 token in this you will learn about the what is blockchain token and how it's work you will learn about the standards of erc20 token you will learn about the standard call of call on tokens that what are the st standard methods we are in the token which we can utilize as a user as a developer to make the transaction so you will learn about that as well if we talk about the data structure under the data structure you will learn about the blockchain data because when you will make any transaction when you will transfer the fund when you will transfer the nfts like each block will contain certain data and how you're going to create that mapping that line which stand for blockchain so when you will make a transaction every single transaction is connected with one another and that's why it's called blockchain so you will learn about the data structure you will learn about that how you can fetch the data from the blockchains how you can pull the data how you can make the transaction and you can learn about the event event is a very important concept in the blockchain because sometimes what happened that you want to store data in the on in in blockchains and you want to fetch the data to so you can display in your front end so event is one of the cheapest way which you can do that if you go with a state variable then you have to pay higher amount of money so it one is the cheapest one so you will learn about this as well so you will learn almost so many thing in this particular project so if you haven't built that i must tell you to build this one because this one is the industry ready project and whatever web3 project you will find they are dealing in 3 to 4 4 in the industry type so they are working either in the nft marketplace music industry photography or they are working in a defi space means decentralized exchange where 
user can do the transfer of the token, cross change. So these are the things. So must tell you to start with this NFT marketplace. Once you're done with that, the next step you have to take is this build this Uniswap clone. Because this will give you a very good understanding about that how decentralized finance exactly work, how staking work, how you can transfer the fund, how you can provide the liquidity so other can come and they can buy your token and you can get money out of it. How you can create your own ERC20 token and list on Uniswap so other can take and you can do the trade. So you will learn so many things in this particular project. So let me expand this and let me show you that what you will learn. So you will learn all of this technology because the same technology we're going to utilize it in here as well for building the front end and for designing the UI part. So everything you will learn. So the very first thing you will learn that how DeFi exchange exactly work, that what it stands for and why it's different from normal centralized exchange. So that's what you will learn in the very first place. The second thing we will learn that contract to blockchain token. So what are the contracts we can run into the DeFi section? So as I talk about ERC20 token, we have different token. So how you can utilize that token on the blockchain for creating liquidity, for creating staking, for reward, all of those things. So you will learn about that. You will learn about the utility of this token. Now you will learn about the in-depth tutorial of this ERC20 token, that how you can create and how you can list for that. You have you will learn about the staking of the token. You will learn about the liquidity, that how you can provide the liquidity. You can learn about the swap and how you can swap the token from one to another. So if you have a Ether, so how you can swap the Ether token to Matty or from Matty to Ether. Then you will learn about the sell of token. So if you really want to do the sell, you can learn about that, how you can build the pricing strategy because ultimately when you list your token on, on Uniswap exchange, you want to make money out of it. That's why you're listing and paying the money for deploying your contract. So obviously you need to have a right strategy which can help you to make money out of your token. People can come and they can buy your token, they can utilize in their regular stuff. So we learn about that strategy as well. So these are the things you have to know. To be honest, these are the things you have to know. Once you know all of these things, then you can call yourself a decent developer and you are ready for internship and job. So when you will talk about each one of these things in an interview, when you will add each one of these with the project in your portfolio, that will create a right impression amongst the HRs and those who are applying for a job. Trust me, if you know each one of these, there is nothing can stop you from getting the internship and a job. So these are the company which I have provided. I want you to do all of the things. Just try to enhance your knowledge around each one of these. If you really want to get a job in any one of these country, any one of this company, okay? So you have to master each one of these things. Once you build a portfolio like that, simply start applying for internship and job in this company. And definitely, definitely you will get an opportunity. But if you really want to do a freelancing work, this is not enough for you to get freelance project because you have to know how to deal with the web two technology as well. Because in this company, when you will go for internship, when you go for a job, you will go work in a team. There, you would have to handle a particular sections. Just imagine that you are working in a smart contract testing or a smart contract development. And uh, you have other team members who are working in the field of UI designing or front end or uh, security testing or the Mocha library and child library. So you will work in a particular section in this company. But when, you, when it's come to working as a freelance, you have to build every single thing, one man army, and you have to build everything from scratch to end. So you have to know how you have to design the front end UI. You have to know how to build the use React JS, Next JS. You have to know about the JavaScript. You know how to connect, uh, how to design, all of those things. Okay. So the only thing I want to give you right now, the only advice I want to give all of you guys, that first try to master each one of these technology. Once you do that, you are ready for the job and you are ready for the industry. Okay. So that's the only thing I will talk about it. The AC is not working. So with that, I'm ending this video. Hope you guys have found this video uh, valuable and you guys have got your idea that what are the skills you have to work on. And whatever companies I have mentioned right here, try to go at least and check the requirement. I'll try to come up with more companies where I can show you that what they are demanding and how you can apply it. If you really have the skills, if you really know how to work with that. So you can easily apply for that and I will give you the entire detail about it. Okay. So I want you to go and simply check each one of this company, try to understand and try to build your skill around these technology, which I've highlighted here. Okay. So do let me know how many of you are going to try it, how many of you are really excited to follow this particular path and how many of you are going to test this entire company and let me know that what skills, extra skills they want in the comment section so other can get the benefit.
So that's the only thing I will talk about in this video. Hope you guys have found this video valuable. If you still have any confusion, end out. Do let me know in the comment section. And for the time being, that's the only thing I will talk about. Have a wonderful day. Bye bye.